Hey, what's happening everybody? It's your old pal, Mr. Butter, coming back at you. Today I gotta do this review from inside. I'm sorry, I know it's echoey and everything. I like doing all my reviews outside, but it is so bitter cold out. And not to mention, there's ice everywhere. So, to save myself from frostbite or a uh, Christmas Eve ER trip or something, I'm just gonna do this from inside. Today I wanna get into the University Blue Jordan 13s. I actually just picked up a pair of the Soulfly 13s and I'm crazy about that shoe. I was back and forth on this pair, but while I was out doing Christmas shopping, I stopped at finish line. They had three adult sizes. That's all that they got. They didn't raffle them off. They didn't do EA or anything. They were all just pretty much first come first serve. They had a size 10, which is my size. So I decided to go ahead and grab them for the review. Use some reward points to get a discount, and I'm always a fan of doing that. If you're into kicks and you feel like hanging out, then hit that subscribe button. Let's take a look at these University Blue 13s. So starting out with this box, you can see that it's real similar to other 13 boxes that we get. There for a minute, they were always color coordinating the Jumpman to the shoe. On this pair, however, we just got that red jump man but no big deal the tag reads air jordan 13 retro the colors are black university blue and white i got a size 10 in these the jordan 13 is a silhouette that i don't necessarily have to go up a half size on i do go up a half size it seems like out of habit for almost all shoes now but with the Jordan 13, I can go true to size and I don't have issues with like rubbing on the outside of my feet or anything. I think the 13 is one of the most comfortable Jordans that there is. Retail on these was $200, but I used status reward points for 20 bucks off. So I have less than 200 bucks into them. And here they are, the University Blue Jordan 13s. I think these came out really nice. And two, what they made me think of immediately is the Hyper Royal 13s. I got those a couple years ago and I moved them out of the collection. And that's a pair that after I moved out of the collection, I kind of regretted it. They have this classic color blocking that's very similar to like the Bread 13s where it's just the majority of it is black. But then for this base material, this felt, you just have a nice pop of color. In this instance, it's this University Blue, but it really reminds me of the Hyper Royals, which were just like this, only this base color was obviously Hyper Royal. But I think these things look dope. I don't know if there will be much demand for these. I am pretty sure that they were sitting on the sneakers app for a while. And I don't know if there's still sizes left. I should have checked before I started doing this review, but I think these came out really, really nice. I think for people that are a fan of the 13, then it's definitely a decent shoe to cop. It's just got that classic color blocking, that dope style, and I love this color combination of black and university blue. One thing that I always look for on 13s especially, and 13s that have a lighter colored base or felt material, I always look to see if there's stains where the midsole meets the upper because a lot of times you'll have some discoloration where the glue kind of bleeds up into that felt material. It's a really, really common issue to have on 13s and for this pair, they look perfect. I don't see any spots where there's glue. These actually came out really, really clean. Sometimes you'll see the glue where this outsole material kind of wraps up and meets this felt on the midsole, and I don't see it there either. These look really, really clean. I've been having good luck with Jordans lately. I'm the first to admit whenever I get Jordans and the materials are crap or the quality control is garbage, but... I've been having really good luck with Jordan, so hopefully that continues. It just occurred to me that I had the Soulfly 13s here still sitting handy. So if you're wondering what the 
blues are compared to each other. It looks like the Soulfly 13s have much more of like a baby blue color, but this University blue just seems a lot more rich and it's like a deeper color. I actually really like it. I think this pale blue goes really well with like the sail color on these, but I'm definitely digging the way this University blue really pops against that black. Looks really vibrant. I think this is one of the coolest looking outsoles that there is on a pair of shoes. Tinker Hatfield drew inspiration from a Panther whenever he was creating the Jordan 13. And on the bottom, you can see that these herringbone traction pads uh, resemble like a Panther's paw. And I think that's a really neat design element of these. But all this traction is in a bright white color and it really pops up against this university blue and then the black. In the midfoot, we've got some carbon fiber like always. That's in a black color. And then we've also got this nice blue jeweled area where we have a jump man. But definitely a classic looking outsole. Really, really dope looking. It's futuristic even though it's been around for 20 years. And as you come up the side of the shoe, you can see that some of this black rubber material wraps up to the midsole. And I always thought it was neat how this felt material is on the midsole as well. It's just kind of like seamless the way it merges from that to the upper. It's always given these a really neat look. And I think it's cool just the way these hits of black rubber kind of jump off with that blue felt as a background. Just a very recognizable aspect of these shoes. And whenever you see that, you know that you're looking at a 13. But then coming up from that rubber, here in the front on the toe box, we've got a nice black leather. This isn't like the most natural feeling material and it's got a little bit of a tumble on it. It is a little bit synthetic feeling, but it's also very soft. So I don't mind this material at all. 13s have never really been a shoe that feel like they've got really natural materials or anything. The upper always consists of this canvas type feeling material, a felt type material, and usually a pretty synthetic leather. But I don't really buy 13s thinking that I'm gonna get really premium natural leather or anything like that. But that being said, I really like the finish. I like the texture of this. It's not super smooth. It's got a little bit of a tumble. Not sure if you can see that with this inside light, but it's a nice material and it looks good. As we work our way back the shoe, on the back half, you can see that on the base, we have this nice university blue felt. And again, that's kind of a synthetic feeling material, but the color's really nice. It's really vibrant. I'm really digging the way that looks. Of course, we've got this cat eye, which is a hologram. It's got a jump man and the number 23. But that's always a classic characteristic of a 13 as well. On top, we have these panels that are black in color, but you can see all these little speckles. That's actually reflective. Once again, we see the Panther inspiration with these little whisker dimples. I just think that looks sharp as a tack. I dig that. I'm glad that we got the reflective on there because I think that's always a cool touch. At the base of the tongue, we've got this little tag that says Jordan. And on the back of it, it has the Roman numerals for 13. The tongue is black and it almost feels like it's a felt material, just like this blue material is. Like it's not a natural material, but it feels nice and soft and it looks good. We have that black felt material going the whole way up the tongue. And then at the top, we've got a University Blue Jumpman jumping off of there. We got black rope style laces in this pair. They didn't come with any spares, but I wouldn't swap them anyway. I think the black on black looks real good. And then our sock liner is black and our insole is also black. And it's got a university blue jump man down on there. 
All right, well, that was a pretty quick look at these. I really like them. I'm a sucker for University Blue, and I love this classic color blocking on the 13. Let me know what you all think of these, and I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out.